Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we will be discussing the differences between single-tenant and multi-tenant architectures. Both of these terms are frequently used in the software industry, particularly in the realm of cloud computing. So let's dive in and explore the advantages and disadvantages of each architecture. What is single-tenant architecture? Single-tenant architecture is a model in which a single instance of software is dedicated to serving a single customer or user. In other words, a single-tenant architecture is designed to allow a single customer to have full control and customization of the software. This model is most commonly used in on-premise software where the customer has full control over the hardware and software. Advantages of single-tenant architecture Greater control and customization As previously mentioned, single-tenant architecture allows for greater control and customization of the software. This is because the software is dedicated to a single user which means that the user can make changes and customizations without worrying about affecting other users. Enhanced security, single-tenant architecture is inherently more secure than multi-tenant architecture since the data is not shared among multiple users. This means that there is a lower risk of data breaches or cyber attacks. Better performance, single-tenant architecture typically offers better performance since the resources are dedicated to a single customer. This means that there are no competing demands on resources, which can lead to better performance. Disadvantages of single-tenant architecture Cost Single-tenant architecture can be expensive since the customer is responsible for the hardware and software. This means that there is a higher upfront cost to set up the infrastructure. Maintenance Single-tenant architecture requires more maintenance since the customer is responsible for maintaining the infrastructure. This can be time-consuming and expensive. Scalability Single-tenant architecture can be less scalable since the customer is limited to the resources that they have purchased. This means that if the customer's needs increase, they may need to purchase additional resources, which can be expensive. What is multi-tenant architecture? Multi-tenant architecture is a model in which a single instance of software serves multiple customers or users. In other words, multiple customers or users share the same software and infrastructure. This model is most commonly used in cloud computing where the software is hosted on a cloud provider's infrastructure. Advantages of multi-tenant architecture Cost-effective Multi-tenant architecture is generally more cost-effective since the infrastructure is shared among multiple users. This means that there is a lower upfront cost to set up the infrastructure. Easy maintenance. Multi-tenant architecture is easier to maintain since the cloud provider is responsible for maintaining the infrastructure. This means that customers do not need to worry about maintenance, which can be time-consuming and expensive. Scalability. Multi-tenant architecture is highly scalable since the cloud provider can allocate additional resources as needed. This means that customers can easily increase their resources to meet their changing needs. Disadvantages of multi-tenant architecture Limited control and customization Multi-tenant architecture provides limited control and customization since the software is shared among multiple users. This means that users may be limited in their ability to customize the software to meet their specific needs. Security risks Multi-tenant architecture can be less secure since the data is shared among multiple users. This means that there is a higher risk of data breaches or cyber attacks. Performance Multi-tenant architecture can suffer from performance issues since the resources are shared among multiple users. This means that there may be competing demands on resources, which can lead to slower performance. In conclusion, both single-tenant and multi-tenant architectures have their advantages and disadvantages. Single-tenant architecture provides greater control and customization, enhanced security, and better performance but comes with a higher cost, maintenance requirements, and limited scalability. Multi-tenant architecture, on the other hand, is cost-effective, easy to maintain, and highly scalable but provides limited control and customization, security risks, and potential performance issues. Ultimately, the decision between single-tenant and multi-tenant architecture depends on the specific needs and requirements of the organization or user. If an organization values customization, security, and performance over cost and scalability, single-tenant architecture may be the better option. However, if cost-effectiveness, scalability, and ease of maintenance are the top priorities, multi-tenant architecture may be the better choice. It's worth noting that some cloud providers offer hybrid architectures that combine elements of both single-tenant and multi-tenant architectures. This can offer a balance between the advantages and disadvantages of both approaches, providing greater flexibility and customization while still maintaining cost-effectiveness and scalability. In the end, it's essential to carefully evaluate the pros and cons of both single-tenant and multi-tenant architectures and determine which one best aligns with the organization's goals and priorities. With the right approach and careful consideration, 
organizations can make the best decision for their unique needs and optimize their software solutions for success.